Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So this is from a Blazers podcast. They said that the Blazers kept assuring Dane, we'll take care of you. Dane gave Portland a list of teams. When he went to them and said, I want to be traded to one of these teams, Cronin told him, we're going to do what's best for us. Dane was pissed. Then he's like, screw you. I'm only picking Miami then. And that's the thing. People don't understand. Damian Lillard was lied to. Also, too, they mentioned it's the reason why Damian Lillard didn't have a no trade clause is because Joe Cronin assured him, listen, we're going to take care of you. If this thing doesn't work out, even though we want to win, if this doesn't work out, we'll send you to wherever you want to go. And of course, they didn't. And now Joe Cronin, he's over here trying to save face because I know I, I for some strange reason, people are saying that his career is on the line. Listen, he's been there pretty much since 2006 or something like that. He's been there for a while. OK, I don't really see Joe Cronin leaving. I just don't like the fact that Damian Lillard was lied to. A bunch of people said, well, then why did he sign the contract? He signed the contract under the assumption that even if things don't work out, he'll at least be able to move on. He's given Portland like what, 12 years of straight loyalty. And that's what happened. They took his loyalty for granted. They took his kindness for weakness. And at the end of the day, they knew they wanted to go young this whole time. They drafted Scoot, Sharp, Simons. They have a great young core going forward. Why are you trying to hold Damian Lillard hostage? And that's why I don't feel bad for Joe Cronin because he knew he wanted to go young and still lied to Damian Lillard. Pretty much telling them, listen, I don't care what you want. I'm sending you to where I want you to go because I want to get the most assets in return. That's not my fault. He's the one that uh, that actually said out of his own mouth as a GM that he failed his superstar for his franchise. He said that he didn't put the adequate pieces around his franchise player. I don't feel bad for a guy like that. That's your job. But let me know what you guys think in the comments because people want to sit back here and think that Dame is, is just leaving for no reason. He's just trying to jump to another team when we all know Dame is the most loyal guy in the NBA. He's played with Portland. He never wanted to leave Portland, but clearly Portland has other plans. They don't want to pretty much use Dame as their franchise player. They don't want to build a team around him anymore. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.